Josh Allen is one of the most physically gifted and talented players in the entire league, and he's been considered one of the top quarterbacks in the NFL for a few seasons now. But does he get a little bit more credit than he deserves, and is he actually as good as people say he is? In today's video, we'll talk about Josh Allen, we'll talk about his skill set, we'll talk about the Buffalo Bills and the success they've had, we'll also talk about whether or not Josh Allen is overrated. Let's get right into it. If you've not already, please make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. I'm uploading videos every single week and your support goes a long way. But anyways, getting into things, when Josh Allen came into the league, he was considered a project player. The talent that he had was undeniable, but he was still considered a raw prospect and people weren't sure how he would adjust to the NFL talent level and competition level compared to the small college that he went to. While he was at the University of Wyoming, Josh Allen was an athletic 6'5 quarterback with an absolute cannon of an arm, able to put the ball almost anywhere on the field, able to make throws that a lot of NFL guys could not make, so when people watched him, it was pretty obvious that he had the potential to be a very big star in the NFL. Unfortunately, Wyoming isn't a football powerhouse at all, and the Mountain West isn't the strongest football conference, so while the talent definitely was there, while the potential was obvious with Josh Allen, he still made his fair share of mistakes against weaker competition, and it was enough for him to be considered somewhat of a risky prospect. When the 2018 draft rolled around, the Buffalo Bills needed a quarterback, and even though Josh Allen was going to need a little bit of development, the Bills were prepared to do that, and they liked him enough to draft him with the number 7 overall pick. Josh Allen's rookie season went about how people expected it to. He had a lot of highlight plays and big throws, but he also had a good amount of bad decisions and rookie mistakes as well. Ultimately, in the 11 games that he started, he went 5-6, and six, and the Bills finished with a record of 6-10 and 10 on the season. So in Josh Allen's second season, and his first as a full-time starter, when they finished with a 10-6 record and made the playoffs, people were ready to crown him the NFL's next great quarterback because they weren't expecting the Bills' fast turnaround with a young quarterback who many people considered a risky pick and a raw prospect, Josh Allen in his second year was showing off all the skills that people knew he had and the Buffalo Bills were obviously having some success and getting some wins as well. Since then, the Buffalo Bills organization and fans have not looked back, they've been a top team in the league and Josh Allen has been considered pretty much an automatic MVP candidate and top quarterback in the league for a couple of seasons now. But does he deserve as much credit as he gets or is he maybe a little bit overrated? My answer to this question is yes, he is a little bit overrated. Now don't go exiting the video and disliking and telling me in the comments that I know nothing about football. Just hear me out real quick. Obviously the quarterback is the most important position on any football team. Having a good quarterback can completely change how well your team performs. So Josh Allen deserves a ton of credit and most of the credit for the Bills success. But I don't think that people really take into account just how well rounded and good the Bills are as a team. Looking at some of the weapons on the Bills offense, it's no wonder why Josh Allen is able to put up some big numbers almost every single week. Stephon Diggs is one of the best wide receivers in the entire NFL, top 10 if not top 5. He does a little bit of everything, he's an excellent route runner, he can beat you deep, he can make plays with the ball in his hands, yards after catch is something that he does great. Like I said, he just does a little bit of everything and he would be a legit number 1 wide receiver on almost any team in the NFL besides maybe like the Packers with Devontae Adams or maybe the Chiefs with Tyree Kill, but like I said, on almost any other team in the NFL. NFL, not just the Buffalo Bills, Stefan Diggs would be the number one option as well. He is that good. They also have Cole Beasley, Emmanuel Sanders, Isaiah McKenzie, Gabriel Davis, all very, very good receivers in their own right. Emmanuel Sanders and Cole Beasley are both veteran wide receivers who just do their job and are reliable. Dawson Knox is an up and coming tight end. He has really shown out and balled out this season. I think that he's another weapon that Josh Allen is going to be throwing it to for a long time. And then on the defensive side of the ball, I don't think that they get nearly enough credit for just how dominant they have been. On multiple occasions over the past couple of years, they have been ranked both the number one run and pass defense at the same time. Their defense is that good. 
all around and I think that the defense really takes a lot of stress off of Josh Allen I am not trying to slight Josh Allen in any way he's an excellent quarterback he's going to be a great quarterback for the next decade if not longer overrated does not mean bad at all but when you look at the Bills team as a whole and I'm sure Bills fans will agree with me on this it is not just the Josh Allen show when I watch Josh Allen play, the talent, like we've talked about multiple times, is undeniable. He has every single quality you want in a quarterback. He's big, he's strong, he's athletic, he can make plays with his feet as well as with his huge arm. He can do a little bit of everything, but his decision making is still not all there. He doesn't always read defenses the best, he still makes some risky throws, he doesn't always make the right decision, he doesn't always recognize disguised coverages, he doesn't always go through all his progressions and throw to the right receiver, sometimes he tries to force it when it is not there. He still is young, he still is developing, he is not a complete prospect yet, so while I do think that he will be a top quarterback like I mentioned before, for years to come, I don't think that he has hit his peak yet. I don't think that he is a fully developed guy yet, and I think that he still has a lot of room to improve. If anything, that should be a compliment. Overrated does not mean bad, like I said before. He is not at his best yet. He still has a lot of room to go. So thinking about how good he is right now, it's scary to think that he still is not even at his best. I think that Josh Allen got a little bit overrated because of his fast progression. Like I said before, he was a raw prospect considered a project player coming into the league so when in his second season the bills were able to make a playoffs that caught people by surprise people assumed that josh allen was just making this huge jump which he obviously did develop a little bit faster than people thought he would but like we talked about the defense being number one in both categories multiple times has been a huge reason for their success he's had a lot of weapons and a lot of help around him so while i do think that the bills are a very good team and i think that josh allen is a very good quarterback they still have a lot of room to improve and i'm excited to see what they can do in the future let me know what you guys think is josh allen overrated does he deserve as much credit as he gets? How far will the Bills go this season and in seasons in the future? Can they win a Super Bowl? Let me know what you guys think. Remember to drop a like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one.